Found some photos of uh, different <laughs> alien races. <laughs> so these are like some of the top alien races that people have said. I swear to God, if Puerto Ricans are on here, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie. There's one that is Spanish. <laughs> You'll see her in a second. Okay, and I just want to get your smasher pass on these. And welcome back to the Your Last Resort podcast with your hosts, Brandon Lejean and Dayla Mendoza. This week, we are joined, rejoined by Joey Smith for episode 156. Thanks for coming on the pod, dude. Dude, thanks for having me, man. Of course. We're here back on the fucking couch in the living room. <laughs> the Creek Studio is undergoing renovation. So it's we're good back. vibes in here, though. I always love the couch. Well, I also... The couch is the most... Oh, dude, not having to leave the house is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like, for some reason, driving to the Creek Studio, even though it's n- nicer equipment and everything, I'm just like, oh, that's so much work, it dude. It feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah, now we just get to chill out. I'm in my fucking flip-flops and shit. I was yeah. just about to yeah. say, there's no shoes required, nah. nothing. No, yeah, you can't see our feet. It doesn't matter, dude. Yeah, all yeah. our drinks and drugs are here, too. It's pretty sweet. That is true, yeah. Yeah, you can't be... A, yeah. You can't get drinks when you're podcasting at Creek. No, I can't just, Because it's yeah. too early in the day and shit. That's also the thing, too, is it's like a lot of times you're doing pods at like 11 a.m. And I'm like, am I really going to have a lone start at 11 a.m.? I had to pregame when I was podcasting at Creek one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I slammed a 40 in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I remember that. The fucking, we guys did the silly squabbles. You guys all came in with 40s from the gas station. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> we got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> I love Creek though. Yeah, this is a this is a cool vibe, man. I don't know why every time we do this podcast, I am the most hungover I've ever been in my life. I'm pretty. I same. We we're like bad <laughs> yeah. energy for each other. <laughs> well, but, last time you were doing the underground rave or the yeah, the, the yeah. Montropolis cool. Bridge yeah, rave yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good time. But that but that night we all set out to get really fucked up. That, we all were of in, us like, separately were like, let's hang out. And then none of us hung out, still got fucked up yeah, separately. We, we yeah. all showed up just feeling like shit. Yeah. I had like four cold brews at Creek. That's the only reason I made it through that podcast. But, <laughs> but yeah, no. And then today I just woke up and I was like, oh, it's at four. But I really just, I don't even know if I'm going to make it. Like I, <laughs> yeah. I woke up with that energy at like, what, 10, 10, 12. I woke up at 10, woke up at 12 again. Yeah. And I was like, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do it today. Uh, I woke up with, like, the the post-drink anxiety today. You know, like, you ever just wake up after a night of drinking, you're like, I'm so goddamn anxious. Like, yeah. I just, I woke up, we weren't, we crashed at someone else's house, so I woke Whoa. up in, like, a foreign bed, you know, and I was just like, I got to get the fuck out of here now. Like, in, I just immediately rolled over, shook Erica awake, and I was like, we're leaving now. Like, Bro, right waking now, up I gotta in someone go. else's house is you- always sketch. It Where the fuck are you waking up with we, with your girlfriend in somebody else's <laughs> house? What the fuck? We're a cool move. We're a fun couple. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we were at a swingers mansion. and I did a show in Liberty Hill, uh, with, and Janessa Carlin was on it, and her uh, grandma has like a fucking mansion out just on the edge of Liberty Hill, so we were just like, ah, oh, I can drink at the show and crash here, and nice. the, you know, they had our own room for us and stuff, but... I mean, I slept like dog shit. I it, there's just I I need darkness in my room. Like the light was hitting me. I was like, oh, it's got to be late. And it was like eight twenty six. And I was like, no, no, this is I fucked up. This is too early, man. My whole day's ruined now. It's uh, do you have drinking ang- post drinking anxiety? Yeah, heavy. I mean, I would get it because I would. I yeah, I get it. I get it. I feel like I just, that's just me every day. Yeah. I just wake up and I'm like, today's going to be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, like yeah. Every minute of every day. <laughs> <laughs> Are oh. you okay, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just very anxious. Uh, I know what you mean. Yeah, and it's not every time. I think it's also uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I went for the 3 P of going to bed at 4 a.m., just drunk as shit, waking yeah. up at noon. And I'm like, during the week, I'm a, you know, 9.30, 10 a.m. wake up guy, you know, going to bed at like midnight or one. So... My body, I think, was a little bit like, whoa, what, how many more days are we going to do this, dog? Yeah. I'm yeah. tired. You're 26, <laughs> dude. You're not made for it anymore, No, dude. dude. It's his, it was your birthday this week. I know, Shout dude. Out. Oh, Shout yeah, out thanks, dude. I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah. How was the party I wasn't invited to? Dude, I got my not, wisdom not teeth out, so I couldn't party. I was just laying on the ground off hydrocodones <laughs> with my mouth hurting, eating applesauce. So that's kind that's of a party. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of a party, dude. It was a yeah. one-man, like, party. I'm, that's going to be the same birthday party I have when I'm 78 and dying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just in an old It'll just though. be in a drip, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hitting the button. That does remind me. We pro- So for anyone tuning back in this week, we ended last episode promising that the episode would be filled with a bunch of 
uh, it would end with me high on the ketamine videos. Yeah. Like when you come out of surgery, and ketamine. And I was just unfazed. I was completely normal the second I woke up from surgery. You'd and done too many drugs, and your body was just like, oh, this is a normal day. Well, the crazy thing is, I <laughs> I just really only smoke weed, but yeah. it was just I I we were halfway home, and I was like, I feel normal. And he was like, this fucking sucks, dude. I thought you're yeah. gonna like. He was ready to give me my phone and be like, call your mom, say crazy shit. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna say at least one racist thing, one. Cra- you know, nothing. Didn't you didn't say anything, anything cool, dude. Nothing. It was lame. Yeah, I, I, could, I, I even videotaped you, and then I, I went over it, and I was like, oh, okay. Nothing. Yeah. No, it fucking... And then, yeah, my birthday was spent eating applesauce, hydrocodones, and I saw Oppenheimer. Too loud of a movie, man. Too loud. Too I haven't loud. seen it yet. Here's I haven't either. A, it's so loud. It's... <laughs> hey. It's so loud, dude. <laughs> I know this is so old man of me, mm-hmm. but... Okay, you know, saw it a little high. Super high. You know, it's a movie. It's a very, you know, visually pleasing movie. Bro, they have jump scares with sound. (laughs) Like, there's scenes where it's like Oppenheimer at his desk, and he, like, really starts to focus, and it's, like, dead silent, and then it's just a hydrogen bomb exploding, and then cut back to him thinking, and it, in this Dolby theater, it would shake your seat, and bro, I'd literally be watching, be like, ah! Ah! Like, it was, I was, I was yelled a few times during the movie. You got some eardrum damage, huh? Yeah, bro, my ear, I was, there was a point in, when they're when they're going like 10 9 8 me and erica were sitting there with our fingers in our ears <laughs> oh like children God. or army veterans wow. it was sad i feel like they kind of made that expectation though like all the memes and shit that were happening with like the barbie and i'm watching yeah. barbie and a fucking explosion happens in the other theater like they needed to go above and beyond or else it would have been disappointing christopher nolan's kind of an asshole for that though <laughs> it's so? just and here's the thing, like, it, I, I almost, if you can't see the movie in theaters, just don't see it. Because yeah. half of the appeal is that you're like, my head hurts from the sound of this movie. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm excited to watch it on a Delta flight in a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be sick. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just on the back of someone's New releases. Yeah. The <laughs> highest anxiety <laughs> flight of your life. Dude. Bro, oh, I was shit. on a flight this weekend, and I don't even remember what I was watching, but there was a goddamn jump scare, and I was pissed off about it, bro. <laughs> They're like, oh shit! The guy next to me was like, "Are you all right?" I was like, "No, dude, this shit was scary." You're like, bro, Coco's a scary movie, man. Yeah, I, bro, Loki, I think it was Avatar. To be honest with you, I oh, think shit. Avatar had like a like a. No, 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 no! It was a uh, sixty-five with Adam Driver. Bro, that movie sucks. It was so bad. <laughs> so it was so bad. bad. Dude, that is a Delta is ass flight. That's yes. like, like you know how Netflix produces movies. Mm-hmm. Like Delta produced <laughs> yeah. that movie, bro, for sure. Its budget was twenty nine ninety nine. It was <laughs> a bad, dude. It's was that the one where he's in a dinosaur land? Yes, and he's but like, he goes back in time with a gun. Yeah, but basically, I swear they must have not had a big budget because the basically the whole movie there's just like. He's getting chased, and then it's like a footprint, and it shakes, and they just keep teasing a T Rex, but they, I don't, I think they have the they money show to show, him. but they at show the very him. end, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the very end, they pull uh, him out, and he just like smokes him with his gun, like it's yeah. super. The VFX budget was just like, all right, we can only do this one go. The Dude. shit that got me with that was the whole. This, the, he's with this little girl the whole movie, and she doesn't speak English. She does not understand him. Yeah. But yeah, he's like having full blown conversations with this girl, <laughs> and then at the end of it, he's like. But you don't even understand me. Yeah, dude. They it, shut the fuck up about it, dog. You done, you done this three times already. Like, God damn it, bro. So he's just talking to a dog, basically. Yeah, oh, yes. This but, is I Am Legend with dinosaurs. <laughs> and there's... <laughs> <laughs> yes. And there's moments where she kind of understands him. And you're like, wait, what? And then yeah. the next scene, she's like, I don't know what you're saying. Right. And I swear they were like, dude... Because the whole, you know, the whole thing right now, they're like, oh, we got to have sign language and, and, and language barriers. And it's like, cool. But I think they started writing the movie and they were like, we love the idea of they don't speak the same language. And then they went to write the whole script and they were like, fuck, what do we do for dialogue? Because yeah. why would they talk? If, if you were stranded on an, an island with someone who spoke like in tongues, yeah. you guys would just sit in fucking silence. Right. Maybe draw pictures or something. <laughs> like, get some Crayola that's, that's, 64 yeah. pack. Make, make each other prison crafts. <laughs> <laughs> A little toilet, macaroni necklace. Toilet paper, paper mache <laughs> shit. Dude. That's how I felt. Did you, ever, you guys saw the Kong movie, right? The Kong movies and then Kong versus uh, Godzilla. There yeah. was this little girl that like could communicate with King Kong, but I don't know how. Yeah, they like taught the, taught him like she, sign language, but she didn't know sign language. Like, <laughs> yeah, she had the language of Skull Island, but only her and the big ass monkey knew it, and no yeah. one else knew it. 
And then John C. Riley could communicate with a Japanese man for some reason. That was the other plot of that movie. Is mm-hmm. that like they're World War II pilots that crashed and they became friends because they were like, it's us or this giant monkey dude, us right. against the world. Yeah. See the the language shit in movies pisses because Avatar did that shit too because like they're all speaking the language with like yeah. captions and shit. And then all he says is like, yeah, after a while, it was just kind of like speaking English again. And then the motherfucker starts speaking English. And I was like, <laughs> what is happening in this fucking movie, bro? Are, are they speaking? Because then there's other people actually speaking English. Right. And then they can't understand them because it goes back to that. And it's just, I, I do, know, I do like, so lazy, but also so funny because they probably had the same problem. He was like. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Well, we can't have him speaking Navi the whole goddamn yeah. time, so I guess you guys can... Under- but then you're right, yeah, like, he looks at them, and he's like, we gotta attack them, and then he's like, Agent Soli, what the fuck is up? And it's, like, the same language. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then they look confused now. They're kind of like, okay, what? Yeah, yeah. Like- <laughs> Dude, and it just keeps going back and forth. It's just confusing. Dude, also, you know what You know what else they had on that Delta flight, which what? was kind of looky cool? Yeah. Uh, the Exorcist. Whoa. Oh, and I thought, of, I thought about watching that just yeah. to be like, ah! Like the whole, like, <laughs> just, just leaning into that person. <laughs> I would. That's that's actually funny. The problem with that though is you you can't I feel like you can't put movies like that on a Delta flight because what's ah. stopping a child from watching that? Well, they, when you click it, it says there's a parental advisory. Yeah, then the kid just goes, "Okay, I'm yeah, sorry." Yeah, that's yeah, all you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, that's what I well, did too. I was like, I was like, "How are you doing?" Though? Did yeah. we talk about your your flight on here yet? Did we talk about that a last little, week? I think maybe. I, I went on a flight, and I had to sit next to these two kids that were, like, uh, flying by themselves. Mm-hmm. And uh, I ended up – I was going to watch a movie, but I realized that he was watching the movie from my laptop. This, like, six-year-old kid was just watching the movie, and I was, like, going through the movies. My, my go-to, I fly southwest most of the time. So yeah. I watch uh, The Breakup. Great movie. You watch that every time you fly. Every time I cry. He just every time cries too. at seven thousand feet. I do. <laughs> yeah, you're a psycho. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I love Vince crazy. Vaughn, dude. I can't get enough Vince Vaughn in my life. And then that's the only Vince Vaughn movie that they have. Dude. They don't got Jurassic Park two on there, though. <laughs> they do not have Jurassic Park two. What is the what is the title of that? Lost World. Lost World. Yeah. They did not have Jurassic Park two. Lost World. Fuck. So I had to get my my Vince Vaughn through. They actually had the uh, the the movie where he's at Google. With oh, the Owen internship. Wilson. That movie's amazing. The internship. Great movie. Yeah. Love that movie. Great movie. But yeah, I watched The Breakup every time, and then I was like, I don't know if this kid's going to be like, because he was just watching with me. And so I was like, all right, I'll throw on Shrek. And uh, Shrek is fantastic. See, but, that's why you got to get like the folders on the desks. Yeah. You know like the saying? cheating with the OG <laughs> cheating. Oh, shit. Dude, I forgot <laughs> you gotta, about those. You got to get that shit so they can't be watching your movie. Your privacy folder. <laughs> <laughs> Those were crazy. Honestly, I don't I know why they that. why they stopped them. It was one of the better inventions they had. It completely prevented cheating. Yeah, now which they, sucked. They only use them for D and D now, <laughs> so you can roll in peace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see anyone see me roll my D twenty. That's what RIP stands for now. <laughs> roll in peace. <laughs> 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 You're an idiot, dude. Well, didn't, didn't you say that the they they told you they were these two separate? He sat by two kids that were like the you know twelve and under flying alone. Yeah. Flight attendants have to like check yes. on them legally, and they told Dale that they were brothers, and he talked to yes. them the whole time like they were brothers. Got off the plane, and then both went to separate parents and weren't brothers. The kid, the six-year-old kid, there was a 10-year-old and a six-year-old, and I was talking to the six-year-old who was next to me, and I was like, oh, okay, so you guys brothers? And he goes, yep. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. So I, why would he lie about that? Then I keep talking, and then I'm like, so where do you guys live? Like, where do your, what do your parents do? And then they told me four separate parent things, and I was like, you know, because one was like, my dad does this, my mom does this, my dad does this, my mom does this, and I was like, Okay, this is like, maybe divorced kid. parents though. Right, exactly. Yeah. I'm like maybe stepmom, stepdad, kind of stuff. And then they keep talking. Also, this one kid was like just kind of. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's you know kids that aren't kids, they're already like adults and they, they speak, see shit. They speak like adults, you know. It's like have you ch- checked your stock portfolio lately? <laughs> <laughs> like I just turned on Shrek for you. Shut up. Yeah, this kid was talking to me like he was trying to explain the Denver uh, area. Because we were flying into Denver, and then I was flying from Denver to Austin, and he what was the like... the fuck is this kid? Was he like, dude, Mueller Street's the best spot to hang I for a beer? I swear to God, he was like, yeah, so Denver's actually like the best metropolitan area in all of Colorado. You can go to Boulder Springs if you'd like. And I was like, what Jesus. the fuck is happening right now? Yeah, he had a, this one kid had a, had a gun game on his phone, 
where you just like shoot dude guns. he didn't know about this i didn't know what this you, was do you not remember like on the og i the i not that what was it before an iphone the ipod touch or whatever the fuck it was called touch you could get the the app where it was literally just like this is a pistol and you'd be like bang 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 yeah, bang yeah, bang yeah. it was just literally a picture of a gun yeah click the, on yes. it and it would shoot and reload yes yeah. so i'm like looking at he this kid it. and he's like no the six-year-old kid is like look look you want to see my guns and i was like oh cool because he was bothering me the whole time i couldn't get out of it yeah you love it though you're rock hard i was i was bricked <laughs> up <laughs> yeah i wish his toes were up but... <laughs> <laughs> wow. and the truth comes out <laughs> uh, and then this one kid just is he's like talking about it, and the six-year-old asked the 10-year-old was like what gun is this and he's like oh that's a, a standard ar-15 you can find at your local walmart <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Also, dude, so what a funny. poor kid game to have on your yeah. phone, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's so poor. Get this kid Angry Birds. Fuck. <laughs> I know. I was, Give him nine ninety nine for the love of I God. I thought this was just like a small kid game now because like they're simple enough for him to just be like, gun, shoot. Yeah. But Brandon was playing this at 15 years old. Yeah, this was like an OG game. Yeah, wow. That's dude, you good. know what's crazy is what if he would have been like, look, you want to see me drink a beer? And he went to the beer one. And he, <laughs> 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 he held his phone like that. He goes, don't tell the steward. I used to do that on GTA. You ever do that? Get drunk Dude, on GTA you. 5. You can get fucking hammered and go out, and I would drive around in my Lamborghini and then just go pick up a hooker, smash, and then kill her and take my money back. Dude, Dude. wow. Which, yeah. shout out <laughs> to GTA 5 for allowing us to do that. For real. Because, I, okay, I don't know if you guys remember this, but back in the day, there were places in the mall where you could go play, like, PlayStation and mm -hmm. Xbox. Because they were, like, yeah. expensive back then. Like, your parents didn't want to, like, buy you new games yeah. or whatever. yeah. There was a place in Rolling Oaks Mall in San Antonio, Texas, where you could go play the video games or whatever, and somebody told me that you could do that, and I was like, oh, okay, so I paid for an hour <laughs> to go to this store and play GTA. I think it was Vice, Miami Vice? Yeah, Vice City. Yeah, Vice City, Vice yeah, 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 Vice City. And I did it. And I killed her, and I got my money back, and I was like, wow, that was crazy. I put the controller down, and I just walked back. <laughs> it took me like 15 minutes. <laughs> I just left 45 minutes on the table. I'm just like, right? that's and crazy. Now, and now you know what that feels like. You know, you don't have to yeah. do that in real life. Yeah. You got no. it out. I was like, man, Auntie Annie sounds good right now. <laughs> <laughs> nothing makes me want <laughs> to finish this day more than just cinnamon pretzel bites. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing better than a cinnamon pretzel after you blow a hooker's brains out. <laughs> My dad no, used to always say that, that to $60 me. $60 back. That's dude, 60 fake dollars. Why are you wasting bullets on her? Dude, beat her to death. <laughs> beat her to death. <laughs> <laughs> you got to kneecap her so she can't run. You know, you yeah. got to you got to put two slugs and then in the you, legs. And then you put her on top of the car, light the car on fire. You're good, you know. You guys, prints are gone. Do you guys remember, though, when you, because we're all around the same age, when you would go to get those games and you weren't, you know, of age to buy yeah. them and you go with your, you'd have to go with a parent. Mm -hmm. And then at, at least in California, it might have not, it might have only been like a California law, but they would have to be like, okay, before this purchase, we do have to let you know. And they'd have to read. So they'd be like, there's mature language, violence, sex, drugs, murder, alcohol. And I was buying Fallout New Vegas. And my dad was like, what the fuck is this game? And the guy behind the counter goes, oh yeah, you can like pick up hookers and kill them. And I was like, dude. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Which nobody does in that game. No, that's what I that's said. That's not like, that game. Yeah. I was like, Dad, I promise I, I, I won't go pick up hookers and kill them. I, I yeah. just I want to play the Fallout. And he was yeah. like, all right, but if I catch you doing that, game's getting returned. Wow. Yeah, and also you can't do that, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once it's open, it's done. I had my, my – we convinced my grandma that GTA V was a racing game. Because <laughs> nice. it had a car on the front of it. So then she was like, okay, cool. we will get it for you. Because my mom would never let me play something like that. And yeah. so we then bought a used – uh, Need for Speed game. It was like five bucks. Yeah, and we would just put it in that case. So my mom wow. did not find out for years until one time she caught me shooting cops. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you would just go out and you'd like try and get as many stars as you could. And yeah, just fucking. You know, mom, it's Need for Speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to win the yeah. race. Yeah, they're fucking. I was going too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not the quiet desire for speed. <laughs> 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 That's some next level I manipulation right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. You're, You're fucking gaslighting yeah. pro. Dude. Oh, dude, yeah. 
my, my dad would buy me my brother video games, and he would have to have us put them in our shirts as we walked in so my stepmom wouldn't see it. Wow. Because she would freak out. Yeah. She, yeah. I don't know why. She smoked crack and was an <laughs> elementary school teacher, so that's another uh-huh. thing. <laughs> but she, you know. She graded paper. <laughs> <laughs> A plus, 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 A plus. A plus. Just, she was running low on crack D, <laughs> F. <laughs> yeah, if she becomes more strung out, the grades get worse. That is a parent's like, uh, every answer on here is right. She goes, who cares? <laughs> Life doesn't matter. <laughs> she goes, unless you got some crack, get yeah. on my face. <laughs> oh, you, want, you want your kid to have an A? I think we can work, work something yeah. out here. You got five bucks, ten bucks? I'll hey, suck your dick. <laughs> give me a rock or I'm going to rock your kid's report card. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, suck your, I'll suck your dick for your kid's A. <laughs> It's the complete role reversal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you how bad he wants that A. You're like, what? <laughs> okay, so here, here's a fun story about dry socket. So I got a tooth removed one time, and then I was I was a cigarette smoker at the time, so I was fucking going through it. Oh, boy. And I was working at Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Shout out, sponsor the pod. Yeah. And we were, uh, <laughs> we were like, um, we were like uh, at work. And this guy named Dabari, who had like a bunch of missing teeth, was like, nah, man, you don't have to wait. (laughs) And I was like, okay, what do I do? And he goes, you get you a little piece of gauze and wet it and then just shove that up there. And then, yeah, I mean, you can't get no dry socket if it's wet. (laughs) And I was like, Dabari's coming out with pretty good good logic. Damn, I mean, he's got to have experience with this. He's got, like, hella missing teeth and shit. <laughs> so then I did it, and I did not get dry socket. And I was, wow. I, I didn't even listen to the doctors anymore. I was like, you guys are fucking idiots. Yeah, dude, this guy with no <laughs> teeth knows what's up. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. All right, so I found out what it's called. Do you guys want to each take a guess at what you think it's called? I think called? it's snowballing. That's exactly oh, what it is. Snowballing. Wow. Yeah, snowballing is great. What a gross term. <laughs> what dude. a fuck. A sexual game where after that. someone has <laughs> sperm ejaculated into their mouth, <laughs> They hold it orally rather than spitting or swallowing, and then they French kiss with their partner, passing wow. it along. And yeah, that's not something we want to do right now. Yeah. Is it? How about <laughs> I come? In, I come in one of y'all's mouth and right. y'all snowball it. Oh no! For the pod, yeah, would it make me pod? less hungover? Fuck. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, it's a lot of protein. A lot of protein. You're gonna love it. See, here's the problem. <laughs> You're basically <laughs> eating future humans. That's a whole lot of protein, dude. <laughs> that's straight. Yeah, protein. You're like first. Saturn, dude, eating his own son. <laughs> <laughs> It's poetic as fuck, man. That's cool. Man. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, would you, uh, if you had to have a knife fight to death on live TV, are you gonna? F- are you have so you have to kill the other person? Are you picking to fight a trained hitman, your favorite grandparent, or a random toddler? Oh, on t- on TV. On TV. Live national, on TV. National. On NBC News. Yeah. It's on the 7 p.m. slot. Okay. I would Eastern I would time. kill my grandma for sure because first of all I know I'm gonna win that fight. Yeah. Yeah. Second of all, she is pretty funny. Like <laughs> low key, like she would be good TV. Yeah. She'd be like, Joe, this is why no one ever liked you. And like I'm just like, yeah, like, like, like Jay, I, you're just like your mom, Joe. Like, like <laughs> and people would think that shit was so funny. Yeah. And then uh, and then by she'd start insulting you so much, a few stabs in, you'd be like, I always hated you, grandma. Like you'd get to Well, yeah, that and she would make the crowd turn on her too. Right. Of the, some of the She's a perfect she heel, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, exactly. Joe They're like, Oh, right. get her again. And they're like, like the Oh my knife. god, don't stab this old woman. Then you're like, fuck that old bitch. Yeah. Go, oh. Joey. Twist her dick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, it would happen so quick, too. People would immediately, every time the knife would hit a bone, they'd be like, oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd roars. <laughs> Joey. Joey. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, Edna, count your days, dude. I'm, I'm a... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick a toddler, and I'm treating it like when Cardell Jones went and played that sick kid in the hospital in Madden, and he went like 112 to 6. <laughs> I'm going to work this kid. I'm going to like, you know, I'm going to stab him a few times and drag him to the corner of the ring. Is up? this your king? <laughs> like, I'm going to really wow. play it out and yeah, make, so gotta, make a spectacle. Yeah. If it wasn't kids. a knife, it was a fist fight, that would be hilarious to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> you could just like kick the kid far yeah. as fuck. Hey, you, you, can, you can 
stab him once. He's a little kid. He's probably going to drop drop that knife. Now you can kick him around all you want. Yeah. I think that would be good TV if it was like you got like a tiny little butter knife and he got like a big ass, like maybe even a, a, like a machete, like a lightsaber or something. Oh, sure. <laughs> like, and he's just like, mm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's more compelling for me at least. Yeah. We can pay him less too because he's a child actor. So yeah. we don't got to worry about budget and shit. He just it's can't a lot be easier. on the set very long. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'll finish him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're yeah, like, yeah. you're like, hey, wrap it up. We got to pay him more. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> And so hey, there's, I don't need there's no chance that you kill the hitman. Because if you do kill the hitman live TV, that's, that's free puss for life. Mm, yeah, that know? is true. I mean, a knife fight does make it a uh, more even playing field. Right. He doesn't have the element of surprise. But he definitely is the guy who's going to, like, you know, like, catch your knife and you catch his. But then he drops it and catches it with the other end to stab <laughs> right? you. Some yeah. Arya Stark shit. I think like, I know yeah. how you could beat that guy, though. Jerk him off. You just kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> kiss him. He goes, I've never been. Whoa. Never been romantic with someone. He just goes, "Shut up!" (laughs) He's about to stab you. He's like, "I've never had anyone feel this way about me. I didn't know you felt like that. You're such a warm, passionate." And then you hit him, and he just looks. He's like, "E (laughs) two, Joey." And he just fades away, dies. Not again. (laughs) And then Dale watches it on every Delta flight. Feel sad. Yeah, dude, Delta good. flights are this shit, dude. They're so <laughs> dope. Fuck it, I, dude. I have so many Southwest points. And I'm, Same, bro. And I'm really thinking about making the switch to Delta, dude. If you go yeah, any sure. airline Southwest that Southwest. has the TV on the back, I'm yes. like, oh, dude, this I'm luxury. Mm-hmm. I'm Bill Gates. I'm yeah. Jordan Belford. Like I'm the Some king of the, of the American crop. flights have them too. Like, yeah, I, I'm yeah. down for. I don't that. fly anything that's been that's been hijacked. Oh, American was America was nine eleven. Uh, United was and uh... yeah, United flight hit hit the towers. Did it? Yeah, United. How that's has no one ever told me this? You never heard it's like United flight five one one five or something hit. Wow. Yeah, like a United ninety three is a movie. All right. Yeah, well, maybe yeah. that's the name of the. I just that's that's numbers. the one that ended up in the field allegedly. Yeah, the the Pentagon, the one that tried to hit the Pentagon. Yeah, that was a different one too. There was a different yeah. There was one that, one that there was, was a missile that for... hit the Pentagon that they said was a plane. Yes. Yeah, we're fucking on to you, dude. Yeah, dude. Jet and fuel. I know that nobody's ever heard these things before, and I'm the first one out here saying it. <laughs> but we're fucking on to you, dude. <laughs> and honest to God, I don't give a fuck if this is rough for you to hear. It's time that someone said it, dude. How funny is a gay conspiracy theorist? <laughs> and first of all, bitch, <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a choice. Okay, <laughs> fucking first of all, bitch. We know that fucking jet fuel does not melt shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is dumb. <laughs> dude, we need that. I once knew this spicy little bottom named jet fuel, and he melted nothing but my heart, okay? Wow. <laughs> You're like, what's happening? Wow. Yeah, that we should is pretty start. Tight. What? Let's start a gay conspiracy theory podcast. Us three, and we'll, we have to just lie to everyone. We but just then, all up. But then that's the thing. People make a conspiracy theory that we're not really gay, and whenever mm-hmm. we get caught, we're like, "Yeah, we were just making a conspiracy yeah, theory. It's, this is what it's all about." Right. We Thanks actually wanted you in. to solve the most important one, and that's when we end the pod. Is whenever they figure yeah. out. Yeah. It's gonna take about five hundred episodes. Yeah. <laughs> we're gay Especially when hell. we're snowballing every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys. <laughs> well, welcome back to the Gary Conspiracy Theory Podcast. <laughs> yeah, we can't, we can't do our intro until you get snowballed. <laughs> wow. This what sounds good fun. Podcast. We don't even need to record this. Let's just do it. And Sunday's football's coming back. Let's do kickoff that I, way. I think I might do gay conspiracy theories for Good Evening News this week. That's pretty good. That would be that great. Would, yeah. But it's just me covering conspiracy theories. I'm like, a fucking as if. Yeah. <laughs> There's in no fucking way. You fucking wish. (laughs) Dude, speaking of conspiracies, you heard about this whole UFO thing? Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised by any of it. Yeah. So I've been looking into it. Apparently, there's... uh, I I found some photos, okay? Found some photos of uh, different (laughs) alien races. (laughs) So these are like some of the top alien races that people have said. I swear to God, if Puerto Ricans are on here, I'm going to be so pissed. (laughs) Dale, it's not funny. (laughs) Hey, I'm not going to lie. There's one that is Spanish. <laughs> You'll see her in a second. Okay, and I just want to get your smasher pass on these. These okay. are just, you know, okay. Smash so these, these are the Dale, grays. There's going to be so much goddamn editing okay. for me. These are the grays. These, these guys yeah. are from the Zeta uh, uh, universe or whatever yeah. the fuck. Uh, here, you know what, Joey? They look way more like aliens with these glasses on. Put it on. The screen looks fucking weird. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. All right. So is that a smasher pass for you guys on the gray aliens? 
I need a little more meat on my bitches. I'm a, I'm a yeah. pass. See, I was going to go the opposite way with that. I'm going to say it's a major smash. I love seeing the rib cage. Very hot. Also, Do we get both of them? Love a bitch with a big head, dude. Ooh. Yeah, that shit is dope. Yeah. L- you, can lick like the, you can lick the back of their heads? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like the <laughs> – you can smack it around. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine looking into those eyes. All right, right as you go. come. Okay, yeah. next one. This <laughs> is that Brittany Griner. <laughs> this is Dolores Barrios. Okay, uh-huh. she has the she's claimed that she is from Venus. Okay, mm-hmm. and no one has proven that she's not from Venus. I bet her pussy is crazy. So, and this right, so she's a Venusian, uh, is what they're called. And this is a side by side of what the classical depiction of a Venusian is. Yeah. She's a fucking Venu. That's that's she's the a, slur well, I made up for, for people from Venus. Venusians so, kind of look Aryan, and she yeah. does not. So yeah. And so what are I you think what are you is, saying on this Venusian? Uh, I think I'm gonna pass. pass on Hitler's daughter because okay. this is definitely just a Nazi oh, yeah. hiding. You yeah. Think it's just, yeah. She goes, I believe no, she's from, from a South race. America. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this, is hap- this is what happens. This is what happens when a Nazi moves to Brazil. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna smash. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. smash. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, okay. I don't think there's many things on this list I wouldn't smash. Yeah. To be right. honest. All right. Whoa, well, I go. like that. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna neck These, tattoo on I her. I believe. Let me look up the name. This again. just looks like. Uh, 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 oh shit! What's the proper term for es- Eskimos now? This looks like an uh, an Eskimo woman. I'm just. It kind of. It, it kind of does look like a dizzy a Disney yeah. impiction of of anyone who lives in a snowy area. Yes. If, yeah. She looks like she owns several waterfront egg okay, properties. Okay. So this is a Pleiadian. From uh, a, pleidian. a pleidian, yes. These are also known as the Nordic aliens. So they come- again. This is definitely just like Canadians were on like yeah. peyote and saw the right. whitest person they've ever seen, and were like, "Bro, that's a fucking." But these alien. have been th- these have been reported contacts for the past like two hundred years. Oh yeah, but if you think I don't want to make love to those sweet blue eyes, yeah. you're out of your mind. A hundred percent. That's just well, a match. bitch from Game of Thrones. Dude. <laughs> this yeah. is just Daenerys Targaryen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna say pass because her mouth is too small. Mm. Okay, she, could, oh, she couldn't call. handle the truth. Okay, yeah. so so you're not flying the 444 light year flight to go and smash. No, but you know what's crazy is I bet there is someone being catfished. By, by <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> should catfish people with that picture. That's part of our gay conspiracy theory podcast. Literally, right. fly on a spaceship to me, and I will suck your dick. <laughs> 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 Literally. <laughs> All right. This is this is the last one. This is you guys have known this one, I'm sure. This is this is a reptile. That's, That's those are the this things. Is a, this is a reptilian. This is a slee stack. This is from a slee stack. Land of the Lost. Exactly. That's it's exactly what it is. <laughs> I bet that makes your dick hurt. Yeah, yeah. She looks like she's gonna make give me eczema and make my dry skin act up. So I'm a pass. If you think about it though, like it might be sort of like a ribbed condom situation. You know what I'm saying? See, the cool thing about this, though, yeah. is if she's like, I'm thirsty, you could just spray her with water. Ooh, you know I, mean? yeah, I like that. She's cold blood. Put her in a kiddie well, pool, yeah. hit her with the hose out yep. in the front yard. Yep. Mm-hmm. She's yeah. happier than a pig and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Smash, smash your pass. That's going to be a major uh, smash for me. Yeah. Major, I think I'm going to pass. Fact, pass. <laughs> matter of fact, I'm looking her up when I get out of here, <laughs> What is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can you airdrop that to my phone right now, please? <laughs> yeah, also, yeah. Her, her neck looks a little suspect, dog. Like, you need to stop playing She has, like, a pussy on her neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, for real. She looks like she got that, that little smoker's hole. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking throat fucking to a whole new level. <laughs> All right, oh, so shit. that's it. So a I'm back in. I'm smashed okay, now. Okay, so you guys... So <laughs> You pretty guys mu- talked me into much this. Would smash all of these. Yeah, is basically. Right. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. I think I said smash to all of them. You said smash to all of them. Whoa, wow, who's that? That was that was another reptilian, but it's a little, you know. Yeah, you didn't tell us. We told we say you like big headed bitches. You didn't. That's a little that too AI. For that's me. too AI. Yeah. yeah, I didn't realize it, it looked that bad. But yeah, okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, just, guys, so if you're watching this at home, also this couch smells like piss. <laughs> Does it actually? Because we 100% had someone pee on our fucking couch. See, here's the thing. I'm sweating profusely, and yeah. I think I'm activating the piss <laughs> scent. <laughs> Did they piss on this one? They pissed yes, exactly which is on actually, now one. you're worrying me. Does it really smell like I piss? I got a little whiff of piss. I'm not oh, gonna lie. damn it. Oh, yeah, you didn't, it. Did you know that Brian pissed on our couch? Did we talk about this on the podcast? Uh, no, we have not. Oh, <sighs> okay. Well, that's good, because Brian is our producer, but he's not here because we, we don't have anyone. There's not three cameras, so we don't have anyone running. It. Uh, Brian one night, damn it, that means we gotta have him come back and clean it again. Um, Brian one night on 4th of July, we got super drunk, like super fucked up, and he had driven here originally. We we're like, bro, you can't drive home. And we have an extra mattress and like room, and we tried to get him to sleep in there, and he wouldn't. He was just too fucked up. So we left him on the couch. 
I wake up at like 9.40 in the morning, and I have a text from Dale like five minutes ago, and he goes, it just says, bro, as soon as you are awake, get out here. And I come out, and he's standing there, and he's like, what is that on the couch? And it's just super wet, and I was like, what is that? And he goes, did Brian piss on the couch? And I'm like, dude, there's no way Brian pissed on the couch and left, by the way. Yeah, Brian by the way, is not there anymore. Brian is not here. So I get down. <laughs> Which is worrisome. I take. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I go, dude, Brian's a big guy. It's probably sweat, bro. He was drunk. It's hot out. He probably just profusely sweated. What a nice guy. Dude, one whiff. I was like, oh, man, this is piss and dale had already and you knew it was, it. you knew it was his piss too because it smelled like man's ass yes yeah, 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 yeah. and also and it cum. enveloped the whole couch it yeah. was so much piss that i was like this had to come from a large man yeah it wasn't our dog like it was it was not even a question that it was the dog it was like this was brian and so then like i i'm like okay this is piss whatever people make mistakes but like bro he's gone what the <laughs> fuck did he leave and so like I'm an asshole. I hit the group chat with all the homies, and I go, Brian, did you piss on our couch and <laughs> fucking leave? Let's go. And he messaged me on the set. He goes, I'm so sorry. I go, in the group chat, you coward. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me. Yeah. Talk to them. He goes, bro, I'm sorry. And his reasoning was that he was like, I didn't want to. W- I woke up, and I was panicked, and I didn't want to wake you up or trouble you. So he goes, I. Trouble you? Yeah. <laughs> You already pissed on the couch, man. Pretty fucking trebled right now. <laughs> and so I'm I, so finally when we're talking to him. I'm like, bro, what the fuck happened? Like, what? Why did you leave? Why did you not like all our cleaning products there? You, Brian is here multiple times a week. You know this apartment. Go through some cabinets, dickhead. Check under the sink. I I just love the image of Brian because Brian's a big man. And he, and he t- yeah. woke up in complete fear and panic and started trying to wash it with his own shirt. He said he used his <laughs> shirt when there were there were towels on the floor from the pool we went to that day. And he said, I didn't want to mess your towels up. You already pissed on my couch, <laughs> yeah. dude. We're way past the point of courtesy. Hey, but how cool would there, like, if we had, like, an invention mm-hmm. of some kind. Yeah. Almost like a, like a, imagine like an oxygen mask. Mm -hmm. but it goes around your dick, balls, and butt. Uh Uh-huh. And then anytime, you, like your your homeboys wasted, and they're getting your car, they're getting in your on your couch, whatever. Yes. You just turn it on and you stick it to them. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then any if they relieve themselves, it just kind of sits in this thing, yeah. and then you go, "Hey, clean yourself up." <laughs> and I think we could make a million dollars. So this it's is kinda just like a vacuum product. Yeah, it's like, like a, it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is just it's like a super, man milker in ways. Yeah, yeah, but not sexy. Right. It's no. just purely. It just yeah. purely pulls it down. So it's like a catheter, but an easy. Way. That's exactly yeah. what I was going it's for. A, it's yeah. a diaper with extra steps. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean he's kind of fat, so you weren't, <laughs> you're going to be able to put a diaper. We on need him. a one yeah. size fits all diaper. Is what yeah, he's yeah, really yeah. Saying. Yeah. I like this. This is a yeah. good idea. Yeah, because everyone has those friends. This would sell great at fraternities. That's what we would do. We would go to colleges and mm-hmm. sell it at like. And expos it would be a great like fun, funny thing. It would be a shame mm-hmm. product as well. Yeah. Give it as a, as a as a uh, secret Santa gift. Absolutely. Yeah, you're oh, like, you know, Brian, you're always yeah. pissing on everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great Look novelty Santa. item, but it mm. actually works well. Here's where we branch off, though. Chastity belts. Okay. Okay. And, and someone goes, I'm saving myself, and then they just, every time they leave the house, they fucking throw that thing on, mm-hmm. turn it on, just, <laughs> yep. fucking... Yeah, so we're really... We've already killed six people with this idea. <laughs> <laughs> Whip some dicks off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people are just getting infections from sitting in their own feces. Either that yeah. or we find a catheter that's like really easy to put on. Right. Yeah. Actually, next time he comes over, we'll just make him put a catheter down. I think that's what's going to happen. Or make him put a penis pump on. That'd be pretty funny. That'd be a good one. Because that's, kind of that's kind of my idea. Is yeah. A penis yeah, pump yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think the penis thing. pump has enough of a reservoir... You know, to yeah. like with it was a lot that. of piss. As you, can, it was, <laughs> as you see, it still smells apparently. Yeah, <laughs> was, I mean, yeah, I didn't want to be the one to say anything. But. Yeah. yeah, well, here's yeah, what we're well, gonna do. To know. We're gonna just have him. He's gonna go to Home Depot and rent a steam cleaver, and he's gonna have to steam this couch. Yeah. Is what's gonna have to. Yeah, happen. he might have to go to Home Depot and just buy a new couch. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> it uh, it was it was crazy, and I was just like, and then again, he was like, <laughs> I was like, why didn't you wake us up? And he and he said. The problem was he woke up and his phone was dead. So he's like, and there's no, we don't have any clocks in here. So there's no way to tell what time it is unless you have a cell phone. But everyone has a cell phone. So it's like, why can't you just check what time it is? Like our microwave doesn't have the time on it. Our oven doesn't have the time on it. Nothing. So he just cleaned it with his shirt 
That didn't work. Put his piss covered shirt back on. <laughs> drove 30 minutes north to his apartment. <laughs> Got home, had to shower, charge his phone, and then woke up to us just, or finally when it turned on, we were just like, Brian, what the fuck is your problem? Dude. He, he was so embarrassed, dude. The coolest thing about that was since he was covered in piss, he was also rock hard the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, fuck, dude. That's what made it so hard to clean up was the cum. Just the yeah, massive yeah. amounts of cum everywhere. Yeah. Dude, he was like, dude, I'm fucking covered in piss right now. Dude, I got to go home and jerk off right now. Dude. <laughs> Can't let this piss go to waste. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's a little freak, dude. <laughs> he's going to be so mad that we, talk, we talked about this without him here to right, defend yeah, himself yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. Hey, like, what you, the fuck, he dude? He wasn't here to defend himself when it happened, so, I mean, that's just Yeah, you is. coward, you ran. Dude, did you guys see Barbie? No. I'm seeing that tonight. Everybody dies. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not Ken. <laughs> Not Barbie. <laughs> dude, Ken is a cunt, that movie. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm like, oh, I'm like, not I I don't know I I'm excited to see it cuz I I've I've heard decent reviews I've also heard negative ones here's the thing I'm it's I'm it's either going to be good and I'll have fun or it's going to be bad and I'm going to make fun of it so hard in Erica's ear the whole time that that will bring me joy go into yeah. it with no expectations yeah and I'm going to get super high I'm going to smoke a bunch of weed it's a, I mean it's a fun movie it's not a thing yeah. do you want a good get, like date idea yeah Does she, do you guys already have your outfits picked up no go take your go take your thrifty Go get a bunch of pink shit. Oh, that's a good idea. That'd be fun. That's cute as fun. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. Yeah. Unless yeah. she's unless she's picky and can't find anything. Yeah, well, I kind of want to go hang at Sunset instead of going shopping with her, so she's going to have to wear whatever it is. Wow, that's uh, fucked up, yeah. I'm talking. I'm trying to I'm trying to help you out, though. I mean, yeah, she man. she has a she has a pink shirt. I got a pink shirt. I'll just be like, "Babe, I picked you this out to wear and it will be the pink stuff." And then yeah. that'll be a W. There you yeah. go. Okay, yeah, that'll yeah. Yeah. Maybe get her some pink flowers, too. All right, let's not get crazy here, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> because I already, she already lives with me. Don't yeah, yeah, come on now. I don't need to, yeah. Who hey, am I effort, to impress? Effort is out the window yeah. now, all right? <laughs> I'm already seeing the movie with her. Be grateful. <laughs> Dude, I want to go see Talk to Me. What's that one? That's like, it's like a scary movie, and there's like a little statue of a hand. Oh, yes. I want to see that really bad. I want to see Haunted Mansion. Kind of the same thing. It's not the same thing. Both scary movies. Haunted, Haunted Mansion is not a scary movie. movie. It's going to scare Jeez. me. Yeah. You owe me a snowball. <laughs> <laughs> the title of this episode is Snowballing with Joey oh, yeah. Smith. <laughs> every, every time I pod with you, it's like the like just the dirtiest yeah. fucking... Like, yeah, we're just yeah. a bunch of sick a fucks. Of what boys. was the episode we did when it was just you and me on the other one? It was uh, Cuck King? Is that yes, what it was? yeah, yeah. We Cuck talked King. about like oh, yeah. cuckery for a cool minute. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you were into... Uh, was anyone into cuck stuff? Is that why? Or just came My out? My ex-wife was into being a cuck queen. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. never heard of this side. Yeah, it's a it's a dope sign. <laughs> it's, it's the better pretty, sign. Yeah, it is it's the best dope sign. sign. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Because most people are like, oh, that, that chick grabbed your arm or whatever. And that made me mad. And she right. was just like, I wish she would have grabbed your dick. And you're like, whoa, whoa, that's what's up. Let's do more of that. That's pretty cool. But, you know, that's how you get divorced. So, <laughs> 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 you know, it just doesn't yeah. work out. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it leads It, it to doesn't a say marriage. that you should do that anywhere in the Bible. So it's <laughs> 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 doesn't he say, like, love thy neighbor and, like, thou shalt share yeah. or something? Yeah. 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 Thou yeah. shalt snowball? Yeah, yeah, I think that's like Thou Corinthians snowball. 316. Snowball with you, with your neighbor's wife. <laughs> <laughs> and on the first day, God said, let there be snowballs. <laughs> that's what they, they say apple in the Bible, but that's a metaphor yeah. for yeah. a big ball of cum. Dude, o, <laughs> yeah, OG, oh, hey, OG churches, you weren't coming up and getting the blood of Christ. The priest was snowballing. Just low, Everyone was snowballing to the next person. Yeah. That's how you got the blood Dude, of Christ. There's got to be a cult that does that. Shiny happy like people. The body yeah, of, most, the most, body most of cults Christ, are come. you know? And then you just go, kikish, kikish. You know? That's the Tesla cult. <laughs> or the Jeeps. Every time the Jeep people see each other and they yeah. fucking... What, what's the hand motion for it? Do you know that? Ah, it's, the, it's the Yeep wave. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's the other way. Yeah, you do Jeep like the My dad became a Jeep guy recently. Yeah. Really? Disappointingly. I was, yeah. He was always a truck guy. And then I came home one day and he bought a Jeep and he never has the top on it. And uh, he's he somehow has the Jeep... <laughs> The Jeep is stuck in French. 
So every instruction, it's like it's like the it says like tune French. Your dad bought a it, Jeep, fuck uh, a French, French Jeep. Jeep. No, here's the thing. It I it's not French. I dude. I listen. I'm tech savvy, so I was like, let me fix this. It's like a it's an older Jeep, so there's no YouTube videos on it. No one knows how to fix it, so you can't pair Bluetooth. You can't. Is do it anything. miles per hour or kilometers? Kilometers, dog. The Your French dad Jeep bought a kilometers. French, French Jeep, dude. You're right. He did buy a French what Jeep. What the okay, fuck? Never mind. Yeah. I that's, wonder what some, type of Jeep is he is. driving on the right side or the left side? I'm like, oh yeah, the steering wheel is on the right side. <laughs> You're like, oh fuck. Is that what he's I thought that was a Jeep thing. <laughs> Yo, speaking of that, I would love to buy one of those fucking um, like mailman cars. Yeah. The oh big, yeah, that'd be the high big box dude. ones. Dude, yeah. They call it. They they are never for sale though, because they call them LLVs. Ooh, that's long like a- lasting vehicle. They go so they for just millions fix. of miles. Yeah. Millions. They fuck, it's That'd fucking dope insane, as fuck, dude. dude. That'd yeah. be great. Do, do they have a door on that side, right? It's fuck not always open. Yeah, it's a slide door, <laughs> fucking, dude. You pull up to the yeah. fucking, pull up to the junction with the fucking <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Mail's dude. here, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mailman, baby. <laughs> he brought the snowballs. You're like, sir, this is court. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we're here for your DUI. <laughs> you weren't supposed to drive here. Yeah. Your license is suspended. You go, I was driving on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> you said I can't drive on that side. Though. I went out and bought this just so I could drive. The, so. the judge is like, fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck. <laughs> Gotta be more clear He's just time. frantically going through a book. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find Looking for the rule about it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh, I love fucking stupid jo- judges. Jo- <laughs> Joey Smith versus the United States. <laughs> We're taking this shit to the Supreme Court. <laughs> In 2023, Joey Smith set the precedent. <laughs> Smith versus the United States. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so sad. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to make waves. Wasn't it Joey Smith himself who said, You can't ban me from both sides of the road? <laughs> Uh, this is a God-given right, not a privilege, okay? <laughs> it's not like we live in New York or something. <laughs> you people don't make it very easy. <laughs> if I live in Brooklyn, I didn't have a license. Who cares? <laughs> I live in fucking Texas where everything's 45 minutes from each other, dude. This is illegal. <laughs> then you press charges on Texas for, <laughs> for not having public transportation. And they're like, and that's how Joey Smith came to own all of Waco. From- <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got in a settlement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, uh, were like, they were like, dude, this is too much media drama. <laughs> just give him Waco and we'll settle outside of court. And I only wanted Waco because my ex-wife's grandpa's buried there. <laughs> <laughs> and, I just, and I just wanted to bury him up and get him out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Your ribbon cutting ceremony is you sticking a shovel in his grave to remove. It's like when they break ground. (laughs) Golden shovel. (laughs) New and improved Waco. (laughs) What other what what other things are you gonna do? I don't know. Probably not let anyone get raped at Baylor anymore. (laughs) That's pretty much it. (laughs) There's a good uh, there's a good uh, uh, you know bakery in Waco too. All Colts are welcome back. We're bringing Colts back. Get back here. Colts are so hot right now. (laughs) (laughs) You can only be a Colt here if you snowball with all your members. We're strict. Mm. I want to be I want to be the head of that cult literally. You know how yeah. <laughs> you should start all of Waco you turn it in. You know how like in North Korea you got to have pictures of Kim Jong Un mm. and the radio just every Sunday at noon families gather around and they got to just snowball. Like you have a big Or, or it's like wow. my picture and like like a 1 ounce Purell hand sanitizer container of my cum <laughs> <laughs> on every picture. Dude, yeah, I'd, I'd be I'd be pretty busy. That would be the first, like, uprising against you is they'd be like, and I heard it's not even his real cum. Yeah. He's outsourcing. Why are we listening to him? It doesn't even smell like cum. (laughs) (laughs) This smells like Brian's piss. What the fuck? (laughs) Okay, I know there's rumors that I've been watering down the cum with my piss, but... (laughs) Times are hard, okay? God damn. Clip it, bitch. (laughs) It's a dude. cum heavy podcast. Dude, this, there's a lot, dude. You know what's crazy is we were walking up the stairs and I was like, I know I'm gonna try and be as offensive as possible <laughs> doing this, and I forgot what I said. It was like, "Welcome to the shit piss cum party. I'm selling cunt pics." <laughs> <laughs> we kind of said that without yeah, saying it already. <laughs> but that's why my head's here right now. Okay, so yeah. Coming up the stairs, I was like, "Yeah, that's hey, gonna be it." 
if you noticed, it wasn't hard to get us on board. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not in those glasses. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you're about to board a starship. What do you think? <laughs> Beat me up, Scotty. Yeah. You want to change our podcast name to, to that right there? That was pretty good. What was it again? Uh, shit, piss, come party, cunt picks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Which, I mean, you know, number one on Apple Podcasts already. Yeah. We can bring, well, we'll bring, we'll bring you on. You'll, you'll become the new host of the come, what is it? The come, sh- I, shit, come? piss, come. What was yeah. it? Shit, piss, cum, cunt, pick, party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, shit, my apologies. Cunt, piss, sorry, dude. Cunt, pick, party. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. The shit that. podcast. Dude, I'm going to make t-shirts that say that. I bet people would buy them for no reason. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just go on 6th Street and sell shirts that say shit, piss, cum, cunt, pick, party. Show it. I will buy one today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to get on the ground floor of this. I want to I'm give you fifty thousand dollars <laughs> yeah. for twenty percent equity of your shit Dude. compass cunt pick. <laughs> project. That, that's dead ass. What I'm about to start doing because I bought like the screen printing shit. Yeah. And I for like pride, I wanted to like make T-shirts that just said like punk rock, rock and roll. I'm gay. Fuck you. <laughs> and, and just <laughs> and wow. just sell them on Sixth Street. And I knew I would have made so much money. So much money. <laughs> Dude, so I'm just going to start every event. And there's always like ghetto ass people that do that at yeah. events. Yeah. But it's going to be me. <laughs> like the people are going to love it. You got to get it with like the ghetto, like the SpongeBob throwing up a gang <laughs> sign on the back and shit. <laughs> I'm gay. Fuck Dude, you. Dude, those are going to yeah. go triple platinum at swap meets. <laughs> it's going to be. You're going to tear it up down in San Antonio. It's going to be awesome. Dude, I'm telling you, man. This, this thing prints money. <laughs> dude, <it's crazy. laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Screen printing's dope, man. Oh, shit. I'm into it. I really like the na- the new name you got for this podcast, man. Yeah, yeah you should write it down somewhere. You're going to forget it. Listen, I, I'm never going to forget this. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to go? You guys want to go? Yeah, yeah. Like, S H. Shit, come P, like get the uh, the yeah, acronym yeah. tattooed on us. Yeah. That'd be fun. I'll get it like on our thigh. We'll let Colin do it for free. True. A little S shit, come. Oh, he's doing tattoos. Yeah, oh, you never. They're saw not that. good. I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, but he'll do them for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pitch. Yeah, she's about to fucking kill you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I saw him give a guy a tattoo, and uh, it was like we convinced you know Connor Hall. Yeah. Yeah, we just got drunk enough to, like, convince him, like, yo, dude, you should do it. And he was like, hell yeah, let's go do it. So we went to his apartment, and he doesn't have any cleaning shit. So he just starts pouring alcohol on him and is, like, wiping it off with just, you know. His cum sock. Like, actual towels that he had in his house that were for sure not clean. And then just goes, and it's it's probably the worst tattoo I've ever seen. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to, do, but it was, I wanted him to do it, you know? I just, as much as I'm kind of down and it would be funny and I wouldn't care, I don't know if I'm willing to get gangrene to make Colin happy. Because you're definitely going to get some, like, crazy ass. I'm infection. hesitant to get my hair cut by him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let alone fucking let him put a needle and, in me. All right, I'm out for the thing, because you're right. I would let him cut my hair, but I <laughs> uh, definitely am not going to let yeah. him tattoo What me. a wild thought on your end. Yeah. Like, dude, if he nicked my, like, the back of my head while he was, like, giving me a fade, I'd be like, I need to go get tested. Yeah, he's going to be giving me, he's like, oops, hit your femoral artery, and yeah. then I just wake up in heaven. Or hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, yeah, Satan, is that you? Satan's like, were you the host of the shit is <laughs> come cunt pick party? I'm like, yeah, he's like. I am a huge fan. <laughs> Can I get a picture real First quick? All, how did you come up with the name? <laughs> real demon. I'm like, listen, when it. Joey Smith dies in a few weeks from a hot dog eating <laughs> accident, <laughs> you got to get him down here. Yo, I'm scared of that for real. So don't joke like that. <laughs> Dude, one, time, one, time when I was, <laughs> one time I was like, a, I was like 14. And like, yeah. that's really when I started like doing shit on my own. And like my mom would like, she wasn't like quite used to it. Mm-hmm. So one time we were going camping, no adults kind of thing. Yeah. And she was like pretty worried about it. And she was, she told me as I was leaving, all my friends were older. As we're leaving, she goes, Hey, Hey Joe, chew your food. <laughs> and I was like, what? And she was like, you know how hot dogs are. And I was like, no, nobody fucking knows how hot dogs are. Also, mom, shut the fuck up. <laughs> All of my friends are here right now in this house, and you're telling me to chew my fucking food like Damn. I'm retarded or something. She hit you with a mom rope. roast, dude. That's a ru- mom, that's fucked by your mom, dude. Moms yeah. just do shit like that. They do unintentional roasts and they don't even know. 
But like I've never had like a, an accident like chewing my food. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I've never been like But oh, now like, all Joey, your boys are yeah, like, yes. Joey dies on a hot dog once a week. Like, no, dude, it <laughs> never she was like, Oh, you guys are gonna eat hot dogs in the woods? <laughs> Better make sure you chew them. Like what yeah. the yeah, mom, I'm gonna fucking chew the food. Yeah, because now I'm thinking, oh, Joey s- slides glizzies down his throat without chewing. Yeah, yeah, in a hurry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we were on my way to school. I, sometimes I, sure. I imagine you set him up vertical like the pencil scene in Dark Knight and just swing, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll make it disappear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna know how I got these scars? <laughs> Trying to bite open an Oscar Mayer pack. <laughs> Those edges are sharp. <laughs> it says resealable. I don't care. <laughs> I bite the dogs. <laughs> it, was, it was super fucked. I was just snowballing with my boys one day, but it was Halloween and someone put razor blades in the cum. <laughs> Dude, cut my mouth open. <laughs> I can't wait till I go like snowboarding or something so I can just consistently say snowballing. And, like, <laughs> I can't wait till it snows here and I'm gonna have a field day with tagging you in stories. <laughs> Dude, if it's if it snows here enough to where you can get like a ball of snow, yeah, can we do that? Yes, like yeah, no yeah. homo, like yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Dude. I'm so yeah, stoked. if we ever if we ever are like doing a show together, that should be the promo video. We'll just get yeah. some like like uh, uh, we'll get the toaster strudel icing and just use that instead. Oh, really boy. trick them. <laughs> oh boy, dear dear um, the Rockefeller family, please make it snow in Austin, Texas <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. <please. laughs> If you could make it, it it's a five oh seven. If we could get it snowing in the next three to four minutes, that would be yeah. awesome. Guys, we need the content. All right, it's been a yeah. dry summer for the boy. <sighs> yeah. Dude, uh, yeah. So let's go see. Talk to me. Yeah. You should okay. cancel Barbie. Let's go see. Talk to me. You think you could convince her to go see. Talk to me. No, she's really excited about Barbie. Like really, like really. really she already excited. knows what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't wait till I'm like, dude, Joey spoiled the ending for me. And then I'll just be like, don't tell me. And then I'll be like, they all die. And, then, <laughs> and she'll believe me. And she'll watch the whole movie and she'll be like, dude, uh, but they didn't all die. Dude, Where's the nuke you promised? That was, that was like, whenever someone tells me, like, I don't want you to spoil it, or I, al- yeah. I always go to everybody dies. That's it's a, the best answer. But one, I don't remember what movie it was. And I did that. And that was a legitimate spoiler. Yeah. And they were like, what the fuck? And I was like... I just said that jokingly. My bad. Yeah, I was like, I haven't even seen it. Uh, Would you like, say that to Infinity War? I was going to say back and they were like, what dude. the fuck, bro? No, I don't think it was Infinity Also, <laughs> Infinity War is fucking... Don't even get me started on how you fucked that movie up. Who was the director? Uh, uh, Paul Simon. Paul Simon, you bitch. <laughs> 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 just hating on people. Yeah, Paul, no Paul, Simon Paul Simon and Doja dude. Cat. Dude, Simon and Garfunkel, count your fucking days. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up the MCU, dude. The MCU universe. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. We're at about like an hour. You guys want to kind of wrap this up? Get out yeah. of here. We got to head yeah, on downtown for signups boys. and that kind of shit. Dude, Joey, I, I'm going to retroactively say this without conferring with my co host. I think we should have him on once a month. Like, yeah. he should be a now reoccurring, fantastic, a reoccurring guest. Down for it. F- Fat Brian ever can't be a producer and you want to hop on the ghost mic, we'd love to have you on that too. You yeah. See? You have a good vibe. You bring enough shit, come piss, and cunt pics to this podcast <laughs> you just know that we were lacking vibe, before. Yeah. Dude, every time I'm on the episode, we got to put that like a little abbreviation in the title. Yes. Just so people know. Instead Actually, of saying, I'm now, Joey, now yeah. I'm thinking about calling the episode SSCPA. <laughs> or now we'll put it in parentheses. Episode one. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, it says like, like Rogan says protect, protect our, our parks. Yeah, episode yeah, one, yeah. this is SHAAP or whatever. <laughs> episode one, snowballing with Joey yeah, Smith. Yeah. Snowballing. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love that, man. This is perfect. Yeah. I'd love to. I'd love to be on i love doing this and uh you know i'm always every time we do this i'm always worried that i'm like oh, i have a shit energy today and then i get here and it's always a great time so thank you guys absolutely for yeah of course thank dude you, yeah you got anything to plug we'll put your instagram and all that stuff in the bio yeah follow like me that. on instagram also blind tiger comedy second friday of the month we're still doing that it's going strong gonna have these guys down soon let's fucking let's do something soon let's pick a date and then just blast the shit out of it on the podcast i'm yeah. super down yeah all right hey and if you guys hey for anyone listening uh uh shit all right i'm gonna also this will also be at the start of the podcast if you're listening to this today wednesday when it came out or thursday morning and you're in california come see me at the brea improv opening for opie so come on out dude yep. it's gonna be a great show we got a bunch Shoot. of people coming be a good time use promo code opie for 50 percent off tickets uh 
Yeah, other than that, Dale, yep. anything you want to plug? And then we got our show, Taking Shots, Friday, Saturday. Sa Saturday, August Saturday, 5th, here in August Austin. August 5th at 10 o'clock. Come out. Where's that 10.30. Roscoe's. Roscoe's nice. Comedy Club. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a good-ass time. So Great come out. Austin, Texas, you're there. Oh. All right, love you guys. See you guys next time. If this is your first time or your 156th time, we appreciate you for listening. But most importantly, thank you for letting us be your last resort. See ya. Yeah. Check it out now, it's like this shawl, it's like that Anna, it's like this shawl, it's like that Anna, like that, check it out now, check it out, it, uh, this one right here is about a girl, and you've seen this girl before, if you've been to any club in the whole wide world, check it out, her nickname's Last Resort.